If you've ever wondered what difference an election makes, wonder no more. Up until the 2013 election, Australia had a carbon price. In the two years until it ended, emissions from electricity fell 10.6%. Since it ended in July 2004, they've risen 5.6%. It's as stark a demonstration of the power of an election as you're ever likely to see. And it's appallingly timed. In April, Australia signed the Paris Accord, agreeing to keep the increase in global temperatures to between 1.5 and 2 degrees. Our own commitment is to reduce our carbon emissions by between 26 and 28 per cent on 2005 levels by 2030. But we'll be pressured to do more. That's the way the international agreement works. The coalition, for its part, looks like stealing some policies from Labor. Buried within its so-called direct action plan is an emissions trading scheme. All it needs is a few changes to the legislation to make it become effectively a Labor policy. Labor, meanwhile, is stealing an idea from the coalition. Buried within its emission trading scheme, and it has one, will be potentially something like direct action. It wants to use so-called reverse auctions, which will enable it to seek bids for renewable energy providers who would like to enter the electricity market with government support. This election is nowhere near as divisive on climate change as the last one. We may get a better result and we may never again see a graph like this one.